guys welcome to another video so um i'm actually this video is going to be a video of basically if you have chickens that do not want to sleep on top of your perching stick this is probably why um a lot of i've been hearing that a lot of uh chicken owners actually been dealing with their chickens like like sleeping with their head outside of their door to go out into the chicken run and they have automatic doors so they've been having some chickens get killed i don't have an automatic door so i come out and lock my chickens up myself and i actually enjoy it and i'm too afraid of getting an automatic door because i do not want my chickens dying at all um so yeah i'm going to show you guys my setup for my purging sticks because i actually have the problem with my chickens not wanting to sleep on there um, so I'm going to try fixing it and hope that it works out. So yeah, let me show you guys my setup. Right now, I don't know why my flash is on, but this, I have this long one that goes all the way across. It's about a foot off the ground. Um, and then we have this metal, this metal one. I, our chickens don't actually use this one that often. Only Pepper uses it, which is this one. She, she's the only one that uses this one sometimes, but she doesn't sleep here ever. So we have this one here if they want to, it's a little higher up. And then we have the highest one, which is up in this corner. And our chickies actually sleep on this one. Um, and yeah, but the thing is, um, our chickies have been actually sleeping here because there's all the poop here. Um, but I've been dealing with um, them wanting to always sleep up here. Uh, they've been sleeping up in the nesting box. Boxes, oh look at Belle, she's sleeping. So cute. I've been dealing with them while sleeping up here, and it's pretty irritating. Oh, oh Kina did not like that I called him irritating. Okay. But it's pretty irritating. Some of them have actually been sleeping up here, but I'm actually going to take this out today because no one's using it. Um, yeah, they're all sleeping. Oh, base is making trouble already. Uh, they're all sleeping. They keep sleeping up here, and it's annoying me and i just found out i was researching all about how to get your chickens to sleep on your purging stick and they said that your first purging stick should always be higher than your nesting boxes and the reason why our purging stick is actually around a foot off the ground is you can't make it any higher because this old lady right here she she has a little she's getting old so she has leg problems and she can't really jump up on this perching sticks super well so i have to help her up on this one it's only a foot off the ground and um, and all of our chickens are actually really they get on this one easy but that's why i can't make this higher and the only solution would be to make this one make this nesting box lower but that can also cause lots of problems because then we'll have lots of bugs living inside of this like I don't know. I could lower this just a little bit so it's all so it's exactly leveled with the perching stick, which is like maybe a foot lifted off the ground, and that would help. But I'm not. I'm gonna have to like maybe cut this a little bit. Cut this ladder. We have to keep the ladder there too because Chirp can't jump up in it, so we have to keep the ladders there. Um. Yeah, that's literally my only solution, and I think I might have to redo all this like maybe i'm gonna move this one up, down from this part because i don't know if i like it up here it's pretty it's pretty it's like the only spot it can fit though which is why i can't really move it because i have this drilled into the wall to hold it here it's actually not i don't know if you guys can see no okay let's, can you see back here yeah look it's a gap it's a gap it's not really actually in the wall um, and I don't want to take it out. And then we have this small wood right here, holding this one right here, so it won't move. Um, but that's pretty old. Pretty much it. Basil was just about to attack the chicks, and I walked in front of her. She just walked, ran into my leg. But I want them to actually want to sleep, so so I could actually. I could move this one down to the side so all the purging sticks would be put all down here. Because actually, before um, all of our chickens, we would have all of our older chickens. They would sleep down here. So it was Bell, Bass, Basil, Chirp. They would all sleep on the sand. Um, Mal and Hina 
before they have before they had um pepper when it all sleep they would all sleep on this side and then we never had any of the chickies so it was just them and they would all they would, they would be so separated and now pretty i don't really need all these extra purging sticks but they prefer to not all sleep together so i could actually just readjust where this one is and maybe they'll prefer to sleep on this and i could get the chickies to either sleep there and take this one down but I just have to maybe change my setup because I can't really do anything about this. But I also was researching because if you guys look at the ground of my chicken coop, it's covered with chicken food. Wait, that, but they've been, it's not that much chicken food. Bunch of poop everywhere, especially in this area by the door. Um, yeah, and also here we have like water that leaks down the walls when it rains. And it all goes right into this pile, which is why it's all wet right here. But yeah, so I'm thinking about, um, I'm thinking about putting like wood shavings on the ground into the string coop. And yeah, oh look, basically another perching stick. She's the only good girl that sleeps on perching sticks. She actually goes up there. The, the two, these two chickies are her babies, but she did not care for them because she did kill one. She killed one because she was confused because she never had babies before. And then she cared for Belle's baby and basically was like a co-parent with Belle, her sister. Oh, look, Hina went on too. They're all being good chickens and coming on the perching stick as I'm just saying that they don't ever sleep. Yeah, I'm thinking about putting pine shavings on the ground. I have to clean this. I don't know if today is the uh, the best day to clean it. It's really windy and rainy outside. Uh, <clears throat> oh, he never went up on that one. I never seen him go up there before. That's the first time. Good boy, Hina. Good boy. Oh, there's a cute sneeze. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, you guys can go ahead and look at other videos of oh he's coming down already or actually he might actually just lay down no nope, he's coming down boom okay um you guys can actually watch other videos of what's the best um thing bedding for your coop and and um what is actually the best kind of perching stick um i don't think that these round ones are actually pretty bad they're actually really good because they actually resemble of how a chicken would sleep when they live in the wild, which is like a branch. This is pretty much more skin. It's way more skinnier than this. You have this, this kind, how wide this is, is around the, a good length or a good one. And this is also the same length. And that one, that metal one is just a little bit skinnier. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.